humble praying mantis, I spent the day beseeching my Creator. I cannot answer for what happened later, why I'm known as the Great Decapitator. I prayed free me from this laboratory where I am confined, and do not let that other mantis take me from behind. I tried yoga, I tried chanting, I tried breathing, I tried counting, but then my fellow mantis began his ruthless mounting. I told him, please, no sex, I'm praying. So I can't hear a word you're saying. I do not care what you're displaying. Please get off my back. <laughs> you are no man, you are a mantis. I tried to make you understand this. So don't try taking off my pantis. I just might attack. There are scientists observing, and I'm finding them unnerving. So don't touch. Don't hug me, no sliding up my legs. Don't try heading for the eggs, it's too much. You bug me. I told him, please, no sex, I'm praying. So I don't know why you are staying. Perhaps you might take up crocheting. Do something with your hands. Forget your stupid glance. sang to me. Isn't it romantic merely to be green on such a night as this? And he said, come and be my lover. We'll romp beneath the leafy cover while overhead technicians hover. We'll hide our love from them. Yes, he was tall and green and sticky. But who was I to be so picky? All right, okay, but just a quickie. Meet me by the stem. After seven weeks of dating, it took seven seconds mating. It was odd and daring. We were hidden out of sight, but he moved me to the right. Oh, my God! Seven scientists were staring. through he wouldn't get off so I was forced to bite his head off and then they came and I was led off never to go back so here's a rule that's worth obeying do not upset me while I'm praying because if I begin buffeting you